Hey, what's going on, guys? Let's do this problem right here. The question is asking the inner and outer surface of a 0 0.5 centimeter thick 2 meter by 2 meter window glass in winter are 10 degrees Celsius and 3 degrees Celsius, respectively. If the thermal conductivity of the glass is 0 0.78 watts per meter Kelvin, determine the amount of heat loss through the glass over the period of 5 hours, right? And we have another question too, that is what would your answer be if the glass were 1 centimeter thick? And let's find out this one first, the first question. The amount of heat loss through the glass over 5 hours, right? So first let's calculate for 1 second. In 1 second how much heat lost? To find that we use this equ equation that is Q dot conductivity dot uh, represent per unit time. So this is going to be heat transfer rate, right? That's equal to Ka delta T over L. So let's put uh, given information in the side first. So K, K is actually this value, thermal conductivity. That's given by 0 0.78. So K is equal to 0 0.78 watts per meter degree, meter Kelvin, right? meter Kelvin and A is the area here it's 2 times 2 that's going to be 4 meter square right so the area is going to be 4 meter square and then delta T delta T is going to be final minus initial so here window glass in winter are 10 degree Celsius and 3 degree Celsius respectively so this is going to be Actually, this the equation is minus k delta t. So finally, it will become positive when we calculate this one. So this is delta t is going to be three minus ten, and that's going to give us minus seven degrees Celsius. But here, heat difference. Even if you change this one into Kelvin, you will get the same difference, right? Because we are just adding 273 to both, you will get the same results. So you can also say this one as same as minus 7 Kelvin. The, the reason we are converting into Kelvin because if you notice the thermal conductivity, it's in watt, watts per meter Kelvin, right? We want the Kelvin to cancel, so it's better to write in Kelvin. And then we have the length that is 0 0.5 centimeter. So length is same as 0 0.5 times 10 to the power of minus 2 meter, right? 1 centimeter over, I mean 100 centimeters is 1 meter. So we divide this one by 100. So let's plug all the values. So this is going to be minus. So you know this minus and this minus become plus. So instead of writing minus minus, we can put plus delta T and get rid of this minus. So this is going to be K, that is 0 0.78 watts per meter Kelvin times area. Area is 4 meter square times the delta T, that is 7. We have cancelled this minus, 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 plus, right? So this is going to be 7 Kelvin divided by the length. Length here is 0 0.5 times 10 to the power of minus 2 and if we calculate this one this meter and if you notice this meter meter actually the final answer is going to be we have meter meter square right here this meter this meter cancels with this meter square and Kelvin Kelvin cancel final answer is going to be watts watts is same as joules per second that's what we are expecting right because this is heat transfer rate so it means per unit time and if you calculate this one, this is going to give you 4,368 watts. So this is per second. But in the question they are asking, determine the amount of heat loss through the glass over a period of 5 hours. Now to calculate the heat loss per 5 hours, we just have to multiply by this much time. So let's do the multiplication. So total Q is going to be Q prime, I mean Q dot conductivity times delta T, I mean not delta T, T. So T is here 
fourth so q conductivity is 4368 joules per second times time is 5 hours so this is going to be 5 times in 1 hour we have 3600 seconds so this is going to be multiplied by 3600 to convert this one into second and if you notice this second and second cancels and we get the final answer in joules so this is going to be 7862400 joule and if you want to convert this one into megajoule you can move six units like three comes to four and another three that's going to be seven point mm. i missed one zero right here so it's, it's actually three right here and another three that's going to be seventy eight point six mega joule so that's going to be the answer for the first one so let's do the second part so this let's say this is a part okay let's do the b part and the b part is asking what would your answer be if the glass were one centimeter thick and you can already see that q is inversely proportional to l right q is inversely proportional to l if this is doubled this will go by half if it's triple it's go by 1 by 3 and inversely proportional so here they are saying 1 centimeter initially we had 0 0.5 centimeter and here it's 1 centimeter now it's doubled if the length is doubled this is going to go by half so all we have to do is we calculated this value for 5 hours we have to divide this one by 2 in order to calculate for 1 centimeter so the, the new thing is going to be new heat loss so let's say q l is equal to 1 centimeter is going to be equal to q l is equal to 0 0.5 centimeter divided by 2 and here 0 0.5 at 0 0.5 centimeter we got this value that is 78.6 megajoule divided by 2 that's going to give us 39.3 megajoule and that's going to be the heat loss in 5 hours if we change this one into 1 centimeter thick and that's how we do this kind of problems i hope you guys find this video helpful see you next time